This event is my first solo show in the Valley. I grew up here in uh, Exeter, California, which is in Tulare County, and I went to junior college here at College of the Sequoias. So it is a great, big success for me to be able to show here and bring back my artwork to the community where I grew up. I went to school in the Bay Area. I was an assistant here and started to pursue my art career at this school, and it's a very special moment for me. My show is called Multifacetica Cambio de Paradigma, which to me is a representation of a shift in who is represented and who is glorified and celebrated. And I'm celebrating people who aren't normally in the spotlight, namely Chicanas, Chicana women, and wanted to show their pride and power. Being able to come back to the College of the Sequoias where I received my associate's degree is such a successful step for me. It's so important for me to share my artwork here for the first time where my family is, where the majority of my friends are, and those who haven't been able to travel to my shows in the Bay or in LA, they're able to come through and actually see my work in our hometown. Anything that highlights, um, say, our, our youth's uh, talent uh, and, and just um, uh, gives them a forum to to shine is you know a, a good opportunity for the community to to reinforce that and and to show their support we've seen some smaller pictures that she's done and we've known her for a long time since she was quite young and it's just amazing that we are so impressed with what she's done uh, with her life and her her ability to paint and write she's wonderful We've known Chris all since she was a little girl. And we, we used to be artists. That's why we take such an interest in it. We still are. It. We still are. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a, a surprising and a great adventure for us to see her work. Very impressive. My style is all-encompassing of what I feel it means to be a Chicana. I grew up here in California. Clearly, I was exposed to lowrider lifestyle, cholo culture, and also my roots of being an indígena from Mexico. I wanted to rediscover that and intertwine it. And so the best way to describe my style is a hybrid of historical pre-Columbian artwork and Chicano art. So as you can see, my paintings are mostly of women, mostly of Chicanas. This here is my friend Alma, and the painting is titled Alma Mariposa. For those of you who are familiar with the monarch butterfly, it is a symbol for immigration and for migration. And it's a symbol that we have adopted in the activist community for people who can freely migrate because of the fact that monarchs migrate from Mexico to the north freely without borders. And so I wanted to subtly hint to that in the painting with the monarch butterfly decal on her top and also reference her life, her very matriarchal family with the curandera here on her brooch and just encompass what it means to be someone who has migrated from Mexico to uh, California at a later age, which she did at 15. I came today because I was uh, Crystal's second grade teacher, and I knew that she was a very creative little girl right from the very beginning. I thought she was gonna be a writer. She wrote such beautiful stories. But she wrote the stories because in second grade, you know, we couldn't spend all of our time drawing. But if you wrote a story, then you could illustrate it. So she wrote these stories and then she illustrated them. And her, her drawings were very, very mature for a seven-year-old, as was her writing at that time. I started out doing lots of self-portraits, but this is actually the last one that I've done in the last few years. This one is called 29 Dolor. It is an homage to my father who passed away unexpectedly. And when I got the call, I was actually painting this here. I was actually setting it up and laying it out. And so when I began this painting, I wanted it to be something that represented who I am unapologetically, who I am as a Chicana, who I am as a woman. And after I got that call, it shifted. The ideas that I wanted to put in there changed. The pose stayed the same, 
I was still giving that presence where I was unapologetic about myself, but I also wanted it to be a tribute to my father, and that is evident in all the symbols around me. We know the artist. Uh, we uh, attend the same church that her family and he and she have attended for quite a while, and um, uh, we've seen some of her work previously, and we wanted to come out and support her, uh, um, just show that, that we care. I saw her pictures on Facebook and I just thought they were amazingly beautiful. Um, I think she's very talented and I really appreciate her sharing her work with, with all of us. So I just want to say thank you. I would love to encourage all my fellow Chicanos, Chicanitas, those of you growing up here in the Valley who feel that art is your passion, just keep pursuing it. I started out you know, from humble beginnings, my family is very working class, and my sketchbooks were really just notebooks, the 10 cent notebooks that you could get at Walmart, and that's what I started out drawing in, and you can just use that as encouragement. Do what you love, be the best you can, let your passion drive you, and you'll go far.